Well, hello YouTube. I'm going to uh, make a short video of my latest generator project. I just finished a few months ago. It um, basically is a brand new covered utility trailer and a brand new 21 kW diesel generator which I'll show you all about it here in just a minute but here's the basic trailer um, it's got one side door on the passenger side you can see from this vantage there's a roof vent an exhaust with a rain guard, a, an extra vent in the back. There's double horizontal door, or a single, I'm sorry, single horizontal door. Both doors have locks. And on the driver's side, another vent and you'll notice down here on the lower rear corner of the driver's side are the 250 amp weatherproof outlets screw in outlets or twist lock I should say outlets to provide all the power that the uh, 21 kW will will produce basically out these 250 amp outlets so pardon the movement of the camera but let's open it up and I'll show you inside There's the exterior of the rear opening. I don't know if the light's going to let us see too well inside. We'll open the side door and that should help. And here's the uh, side door showing the end of the generator and the power distribution box that I have. We'll see if the light will show us inside very well. Oh, not too bad. But here's the uh, power unit, four cylinder diesel with its control unit and all the protective mechanisms for oil pressure, temperature, low oil, um, all the things you need and a gas gauge. I've also placed several racks, well basically on every wall, to hold different things so that uh, this is a basically a all-in-one power wagon if you will it has a uh, automatic start system and can easily be hooked up to a uh, to your house to an automatic switch and then it will start on its own but when you when I turn the key here in just a minute to automatic it will uh, preheat if necessary and then start the engine so Let's uh, start it up for just a moment and let you hear it. Let you see the exhaust stack when it starts. It hasn't been run for several days.
Well, you know what, YouTube? I need to hook the negative side of the battery up. I'm sorry. I always disconnect the negative side to keep from any drainage on the battery. So... I just keep it finger tight so I can take it on and off if I need to. Don't know that it's necessary. It's just a habit I've always been in. Okay, here we go again. It'll go through its diagnostics and then its uh, warm-up if it needs to. That's it, and I appreciate you looking.